If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding there. out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mm, mountains yeah, of sure. Real Guys! Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to. No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for yeah, it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Daz? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all 
complaining. Happy? I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. But we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons. Not all axes are meant to cut down trees. <laughs> the lady won't hurt you either way. I'll make sure of that. Hey, I got an idea. How about we find some backwater world and go off grid for a while? Nova Corps ain't gonna chase us forever. It worked for me in the past. <laughs> well, backwater worlds are like this natural environment. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Hey, I heard that. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're right. Drax wouldn't hide from the cops. It would be cowardly and dishonorable. Yep, there we go. This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got him. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect the Chitauri traders to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellman... <laughs> that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Yes! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off. Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. Yeah, keyword live!
We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? All <laughs> spells shoot stuff. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollow husk of a bygone time. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are! 
Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of drag, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? <laughs> this is further proof that we are not welcome here. We turn back every time we ain't wanted, but we never go in. Good point. Do you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why I suggested. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. No. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. Th that, too. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? Do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me. <laughs> He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh. I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I don't think he's face making them up. Box. He's really pissed. You can run, you free bagging flarkhole! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed 
focused on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10! Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again... hear that? Rise oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> I may not know exactly what these things are, but I... I know you're about to be dead! Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the fuck are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure that...